So next to vote is the Honorable Board Member Arlina Mopo. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, uh, gusto ko po lang i-paalam na I, ha, I, ha, I uh, highly respect to the wisdom of our dear Governor. I do believe in the trust and confidence given to the appointee. But nevertheless, Bob also gave his trust and confidence to HR to evaluate the requirements submitted. Since the document submitted by the appointee is under oath, the trust and confidence was also given. I believe that Gov came to um, or assumed, Gov assumed that appoint uh, and came to the appointment decision with confidence that the document are thoroughly evaluated. The appointment was endorsed to Sangbunian for our review and better judgment. In my knowledge, an appointment paper, uh, the appointment paper is referring to permanent and plantilla position. That does not apply the trust and confidence alone, but the minimum requirements set by the law, the national law guided by CSC ruling. Ipinigay sa atin ng CSC ang guidelines upang maging gabay ng LGU sa assessment and evaluation. At mandated, we are mandated by the law na gagawin ng LGU ang kanyang function guided by this ruling. I strongly believe that God has a high respect in our institution, the legislative that once he also served. Nalagi po na sa aking isipan, pag sinabi po ni God sa akin at ako ay tinanong bakit hindi pa naaapiban ang kanyang mga request sa aking committee, balalo tigit sa health Ang sinasabi ko po, go, kulang po ang attachment, kulang po ang papel, wala pong justification. Lagi po niya sa, sinasabi, hindi iisaw da dalawa. Tama ka, Arlene. You are doing your job. Trabaho niyo yan. At um, kaya sa aking mga desisyon, I'm praying that I made it fair and just. At ang magbe-benefit ay ang nakararami at hindi lang ang iilan. As per my review and assessment, the transparent in the hearing and meeting, number one, there is a discrepancy in our ICT statement of Ms. Katrin Butet, the documents submitted of the appointee and the appellant. Number two, the EA detailed to tourism as per statement of Ms. Katrin Butet is not established in the first hearing. Number three, according to HR, no year 2022 IPCR submitted even they exert best effort that may help in the evaluation of re-employment re -employment with promotion. Number four, some of the menu order detailed order are not kept by the appointee that should be submitted as reference in the committee but supported by newly issued certification. Number five, minimum requirements of five training does not meet the CSC requirements as per training submitted by the appointee. Number six, minimum requirement of hours to be rendered in training set by CSC does not coincide as per training submitted by the appointee. Number seven, as per HR, the completion of trainings will be complied after confirmation that contradicts to the QS of the CSC. Number eight, contrasting interpretation of HR and legal office, particularly in the definition of department that supposedly will conduct or under that such training. As per my own evaluation, Ms. Erica Butet has, a, has an impressive credential as age of 28. She can be an asset to some government or private departments or company that may suit to her credential. But for now, I will say no until she corrected the misrepresentation statement and complied the minimum requirements set by the law for the position of provincial department head of tourism. Um, thank you.
thank you uh, Honorable um, Arvin Magbuo um, Sir Nel Next to vote is the Honorable Board Member Wilson Leandro T. Rivera Magandang umaga po uh, After hearing the manifestation of my some colleagues and also the reason why Kung ano po ang kanilang boto, I also vote for no uh, dahil po sa kadahilan ng ulang pang mga documents na sinabit ng ating uh, nag a na Department of ng Tourism. Salamat po. Mm -hmm. yes, um, thank you very much, um, Honorable Wilson Rivera. Mm -hmm. um, Next to vote is the Honorable Board Member Rodolfo M. Balba. Good morning, Mr. Nila, kahit ako yun na ito. No? My part is yes. Dahil uh, ikit sa lahat, uh, with the government, 